Kentucky's College of Agriculture is taking part in a research trial that could potentially help treat millions who develop malaria. For the past year, they've been producing a crop that creates materials for drugs that treat that disease. Alexa Helwig tells us about the process. Smell good too, right? Yes, they smell real good. I told those guys, if anything, they can make candles out of this stuff. <laughs> These artemisia plants are producing much more than a good smell. On this acre and a half of land at UK's Spindletop Farm in Lexington, this trial could lead to treatment for millions that develop malaria. The goal is to produce plant material to which they can extract the pharmaceutical artemisinin out of uh, to make pills or drugs that could be used to treat malaria. Nearly a year ago, two German scientists came to Kentucky looking for a place to grow the artemisia plant. We have the correct climate, environment, growing season, uh, and we're also very familiar with transplant production. With 200 million people affected worldwide every single year, 400,000 of them die from the symptoms. Most of which because they do not have access to this drug because there's such a limited supply. Their goal is to create the artemisinin for these drugs in Kentucky in an efficient and cost effective way. So those in underdeveloped countries have access to the treatment. And so far so good, the German based company is excited about the possibilities of production in the bluegrass. And they're actually working on a uh, possibility of building their extraction facilities right here in central Kentucky. Covering the news in Lexington, Alexa Helwig, LEX 18 News. Well, the heat's going to hang on a bit. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast is up next.